My name is Susie. I'm a hair artist and a creator. You might have seen my work on Solange Knowles, Zoe Kravitz, Chris Rock, just to name a few. Today I'm going to be creating a fully braided couture hat. I realize that I'm more than just a hair artist, I'm a creator. I can create anything. It's very important for me to take myself out of the box all the time. I asked my friend to illustrate an amazing hair art piece. And right now, today, we're going to create this and bring this to life. I decided to create braids and bring Yoruba culture, bring black culture, bring African culture to wardrobe. In order for me to bring this look into life, I'm going to need synthetic braiding hair, a pair of scissors, needle and thread, a hat frame, jam, moisturizer, glue, hairspray, a lighter, beads and accessories, a blow dryer, and love. In order for me to create this look, I'm going to need three to four hours. So right now, I'm going to start my braid by separating the strands in two, looping it in the ends, and attaching it to a chair or a pole or a table, somewhere where I can have enough space to do my braid. I would like them to be long, so at least I can create the foundation and then at the end of it, I can accessorize or build off of it. Shorter pieces take longer, unless you're doing a piece where it involves you creating circles or shapes. So right now, I'm just trimming all the hairs off, so it's very neat. You see all those hairs sticking out? I don't like that. I want it to be neat and clean. Okay, so I'm gonna get my fire, my lighter. This is not catching on fire because it's cankalon. Cankalon hair is a synthetic hair, and when you put fire to it, it melts. So you just gotta hold the hair a certain way, like this. You don't wanna stay in one place. You wanna take the fire and move and glide through the braids, and then pow. Hair can send messages. I know back in the day they used braids and, and cornrows to map out where they were going and send messages to their neighbors. Hair is very powerful and it can really date back to centuries. You know, box braids has been something that's been around since the beginning of time. Hair is art. If you ask me, you know, hair you can speak to a whole different nation, to the whole world just by using hair. I can't wait to see how this is gonna look. I'm so excited. I am going to do this process until I get to the top of the hat. I'm going to get my blow dryer because I want this to dry faster and cleaner. But this glue is starting to be annoying. It's starting to get messy. It's stretching all over. So every time I use the glue, I'm just going to clean the nozzle so it can be nice and neat and clean. That's how I like it, clean. Look at my progress so far. Look at my progress. Look at my progress. I should have knew, but I did not know that I'm gonna need as much fire as I do now. I need more lighters. I thought glue and threading needle was gonna be like one of the major things I need, but it looks like it's fire, which is pretty cool. So, I'm going to use the blow dryer to finish it off. Ooh, 
Look at that hat. Ooh. Yeah. This looks magnificent. Okay, so right now, I'm about to add accessories with braids and beads, braiding the braid. Energy when you're creating is very important, especially when you're doing hair. Your hair, that's your crown. In my culture, they call it the ori. Ori, your head, your crown. So the type of energy that you're bringing when you're creating masterpieces has to be positive open-minded and ready to create art, you know? I see myself as a vessel. The pearls are so classy. The gold represents freedom and royalty. So we're gonna incorporate all of these things into this headpiece. As we finish the final look and spray hairspray, I'm excited and very happy and grateful. We kept it very clean. We kept it very tribal. We brought it to Africa. We invited our ancestors, you know. We invited our spirituality. We educated ourselves, we encouraged ourselves, and we created a masterpiece. I really wanted this hair art to really symbolize me, symbolize my culture, African culture. I wanted this to symbolize power, 